Ah, we meet again. Splendid. Allow me to enhance the ambiance a little bit. Much better. Welcome back. I thought I'd make a quick video about this chair that I made just as an introduction for my Spy Girl video. Um, I, I just wanted to make something that was kind of a James Bondish, spyish kind of thing. So I just whipped up this chair real quick and people were asking how I did it, so I thought I'd tell you. Uh, if you come around this side, you'll see <laughs> it's just foam core. The whole thing is just foam core. Again, everything I do is made out of foam core. Um, but I'll show you the steps on how I did it. And this is kind of cool with the switches and buttons here. It's kind of cool. These are just little jewels that I, I'll get to that in a minute. I got my little leather padded armrests here in my back. So I did everything. The whole thing was made from scratch. And uh, let me just show you how. All right. The whole thing obviously turns, which uh, my high-tech way of turning this is having Kara turn it for me. <laughs> and you're going to laugh what I used for, for this. This is, it's just a kitchen lazy Susan. That's all it is. Just a plastic, <laughs> just a cheap plastic lazy Susan. I got to get myself a more heavy duty metal one, but this is not all that was used in the video. So the whole thing was built on a plywood base. That's how it all started was on a sheet of plywood. And I then just started to glue the basic shape of the part that I sit on. And that, of course it had to support my weight. So I had a honeycomb pattern making it so it can support human weight. And then once I had that box completed, then the whole chair was just built up from that. I built the basic shape of the chair with foam core. So this is what I use, just basic foam core. Uh, I think it's half inch thickness. This stuff is great building material. It's so easy to use. You just cut it with an X-Acto knife. The basic method is to just cut with an with a X-Acto knife. You make two cuts with a half inch and that's it. You got to cut nice sharp edge. And so this is basically the entire way I do it. And then I just use hot glue to hot glue the whole the pieces together. And then when I was done, then I just use this poster, this uh, chrome co poster board. It's just po uh, metallic poster board that I bought at an art store. And it's it comes in uh, 30 by 40 inch sheets. So I just cut that and hot glued it to the basic shape of the chair. These are just leftover pieces that I had from there. The whole thing is just paper so far. And then for the padding, I made the basic shapes of the padding with foam core like this, just glued two pieces together to make it a little bit thicker, so now it's an inch thick. And I cut them all into the same shapes, and then I wrapped some fake leather around it, and just hot glued it together. So really the only materials, uh, the only uh, machinery used to make this is an X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, a T-square, and some hot glue. So I hot glued the upholstery pieces together. It's just for show. This isn't foam. It's not supposed to be comfortable. It's just something that's supposed to look good. Foam core keeps its shape a lot better than foam. I tried doing a piece with foam, but it, it just wouldn't hold the nice square angled shape as well. So um, again, I used the, the foam core as the base. So then I just hot glued that, the pieces right onto the silver. So yes, I did do this. <laughs> it's not a professional job, but again, on Hollywood, you see it for two seconds from a distance. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I did the armrest too here. I just stuck those on there with hot glue. Um, and then I proceeded to make the control panel, which again is just, it's just foam core again. And then I just glued switches on here and um, these lights here are actually jewels that I got at Michael's. <laughs> Just costume jewels that I got at a hobby store. Kind of cool. So I just stuck those on here. And I put some padding on the seat here. This is just foam core. <laughs> and that's it. That's how I did this. And the whole thing, here, I'll show you. It, it's kind of big and awkward, but it really doesn't weigh much at all. The whole thing is just 
lightweight. So that's how you make an evil villain high-tech chair from the 60s. There you go, that's how you do it. This is how, uh, at least how I do it. I mean, it's really not that complicated, but as long as it looks cool for, you know, a few seconds on film, that's all that matters. If it falls apart a week later, no big deal. It served its purpose. So, no home is complete without <laughs> your evil villain control chair. There you go. That's it. That's how I did this. So there you go. Now you know. Stay tuned to the next video of how to make cool stuff behind the scenes. Just crazy, at least how I do things. How to make it quick and easy thing. So there you go. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.